There's a lot that goes into making YouTube videos. Some of you know that way better than I do. There's a lot more to making YouTube videos than just carrying a camera around, taking some good video, and posting it on YouTube. Today I wanted to talk about three YouTube channels that helped me learn how to make YouTube videos. Without the help of these three channels, I don't think I ever would have picked up a camera and started my YouTube adventure. The first person that taught me how to create YouTube videos was Jevin Dovey. At that time, I was just toying with the idea of making YouTube videos. wasn't sure it was something I wanted to do, but I started watching his content, particularly uh, some of his most popular videos. Uh, these videos covered how to tell a story. Watching these videos, I realized that YouTube was more than just picking up a camera and then shooting some film and then throwing it on YouTube. To make good YouTube videos, you needed to be able to tell a story. I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily good at it yet. However, I'm definitely better than I would have been if I hadn't come across Jev and Dovey. And he's also super useful. Uh, questions like what frame rate to film, how to film solo, b-roll, all of those things, cinematic footage. He really goes into that in great detail, and I really appreciated his influence in helping me learn how to create YouTube videos. I still touch bases with his videos once in a while, and every time I do, I come away with something useful. The next person that really helped me out on my journey to become a YouTube creator was Jason Yadlowski. Sorry about butchering the last name, Jason. Once you decide you want to shoot videos, you realize very quickly that you also have to edit videos. I decided to use DaVinci Resolve mostly because it was free. However, it's a phenomenal platform and that's what I currently use. Getting the paid version isn't really necessary, but I'd consider doing it just to say thank you to Blackmagic for creating such a wonderful editing software. Jason's channel is where I go pretty much every time I have a question about how to do something in DaVinci Resolve. I really haven't found a question that I've had that he hasn't created a video to answer. I'm not sure how he has the time to come up with so many different videos. In addition to being good videos, they're not particularly lengthy. When you're in the middle of creating a video, the last thing you want to do is watch a 30 minute video to find out how to do a 20 second skill. He also does a great job of putting bookmarks in his videos. So if you have one specific question, you can just go straight to that bookmark, find that answer, and then be back into editing. He does a great job, plenty of good B-roll, uh, very entertaining. And without Jason, I don't know that I ever would have learned how to edit my videos in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks, Jason, and keep up the great work. You're doing a phenomenal job, and we really appreciate it out here. The last YouTube channel that really helped me learn how to produce YouTube videos was vidIQ. As anybody that's a YouTube creator knows, there's so much you need to do once you get your videos on just to make your channel basically viable. It's hard to figure out all of these things. And so, of course, like most people, I turn to the internet and particularly YouTube to learn how to make YouTube channels. There are a lot of people out there producing this content. However, of all the channels I watched, uh, vidIQ, I think, did the best job of breaking things down in a way that I could understand, helping me find ways to improve my channel and just become a better creator. He does a great job also of making them entertaining. They're not just standing up there and talking to the screen. Plenty of B-roll, uh, generally able to tell some type of a story to keep your interest. I don't actually use the vidIQ service. I looked into it for a while. Their basic service didn't seem to add a whole lot that I wasn't able to do by myself. And right now this is just a hobby, so I'm not willing to put the money into it for uh, their more advanced content. However, if YouTube becomes something I do more, it's definitely an area that I would look into. I'm probably at a point now where I need to watch a few more of these videos. There's some stuff that I still need to learn. However, right now, I'm just enjoying producing content. I'd rather be out in the hills with a video camera than watching YouTube on how to make your channel more successful. I figure there's plenty of time for that. 
but I did want to say thanks to the people over at vidIQ. You really did help me out. You helped me get a channel off the ground, and I would say it's way more successful than I would have imagined just a year into it. And I think a lot of that is due to the advice I got on your channel. If there's someone whose YouTube channel has helped you out in the past, feel free to give them a plug in the comments below.